Happy Thursday! Today is a public holiday in Melbourne. It's Australian Day, and that's why I'm wearing casual. Um, my daughters just went to a party with um, their dad, and I, I'm here and just to close something because I have an important meeting today. Yes, um, it has been a very busy week as usual, and I remember in the last two days, uh, one of my daughter's best friend came for a sleepover. They have a great time and particularly I spend a lot of time with them as well, you know, talking very funny stories and which, you know, being um, be funny and telling great stories full of imaginations is one of my strengths and that my um, old daughter Cece, she loves the most. And it also reminded me this morning you know, as in this whole week, I've been really busy preparing the conference thing that is coming up very, very soon. And it's a lot of work and time consuming. And that caused me, you know, having very little quality time with my two kids. But this morning, I did spend like 30 to 40 minutes with them playing silly things, you know, just being like a child. Uh, be part of them and um, being really funny and brought them so much um, laughters and joy and stuff and it remind me to uh, really share with you how magical their you know being funny and also be uh, humorous is you know humor is one of the best gifts that we could have if we could really use it wisely and i realized that after i played with them this morning even though it was less than an hour, I feel the boundaries that I got with them. And no matter what happened to us before, or they might feel that mom didn't spend enough time with me, but they felt like um, all the bad things was gone, all they remember is a good thing. So I think it's really good to be reminded that if you can't spend enough time with your kids or, or people around you, any relationships, if you can't really, um, uh, you know, just to contribute enough, whatever it is, I think it's to to find the best way, and that is be funny. And there's a famous saying I, I heard from my daughter, I don't know who said it, maybe you guys know, it says that um, if you can't behave, be funny. Yes, being funny, it's, it's magical. Uh, I remember that when I, uh, you know, in the last 20 years, I worked in different organizations, every time when I when I joined a meeting or conference, I was very uh, I had I always got well prepared and I was very professional on what I'm talking about. But in the meantime, I always brought kind of different joy because I was always quite funny the way how I say things and I'll be uh, honest and stuff like that. And the thing about humor, I I uh, remember also about maybe when I was 10 or 15, I don't remember exactly, but I was very, very, um, very, very much into anything that's related to humor or um, being humorous or be funny because I, I just feel that can help so much for my mental health and so, you know, bring so many good things to my life. And that is why I start to, un to understand more what is being funny and stuff like that. And that, you know, I think 25 years ago, ago when I was um, in the uni and I, as m many of you were probably were aware or not aware that I was quite overweighted and was not very confident. And I um, actually was finding a way how to enjoy my life. And one of the best things and gifts that I uh, trained myself to have was to be funny. And I realized that that brought me so many friends and people came to me and just feel like so happy whenever they spend time with me. And I think being funny is such a wonderful gift that we can have. And that really changed my life as well. And the other thing is, um, you know, being funny doesn't need to be very complicated. And I think, you know, it's just being honest and being true and be raw. Um, be, you know, when you when you watch any of these kind of talk show on TV or anything that made you laugh, most of the time, all they were saying were so true. That That's why you just couldn't hold, you know, hold to laugh. Um, and because many people nowadays were very easy to get offended and people have to say things really carefully. Um, as long as the way how you say things 
we're not rude, you know, as long as it's kind, sometimes it's, there's no harm to be real. And that's why I always be quite funny in a, amongst our friends because I know they won't get offended, they know me well. Um, of course, that means a little bit trust and the base before you make jokes with someone. But yeah, being funny is a wonderful gift if you can really make use of it wisely and I hope this can really help you today that no matter what you are going through and suffering you know life is tough but you can find a way to enjoy it. and one of the ways is to remain funny and find the humor amongst your whole areas in your life you can see many funny things happen in your life every single day and you know stay on fo focused on the funny things and the good things rather than on the negative things and i hope this can really help you today god bless you i will see you next time bye